in Jesus mighty name hallelujah can we pray for you there's a brother here a brother God wants to bless you this one there's a short man there but I want to tell you stop there you can stop there I want to tell you there's a man who lives in Midrand and this man is like he's your uncle huh I can't hear you. Yes. Uh, please uh, forgive this person. Uh, because no one will stop you in your family. Amen. No one. <laughs> you know. Uh, since you got a promotion, you can't sleep now. Yes. There's been attacks left and right. Yes. So I want to remove this problem. Amen. And there's a promotion that will come again. Amen. In Jesus. <laughs> Bring him here. Jesus, my tenant. Jesus. Leave him. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andri Simono who ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Sien and I come from Guyana. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, I confirm what the Prophet has said. He said there's someone who is troubling me, who is attacking me. And I confirm that because I have uh, dreamed this person. Yes. And Prophet Andrews also spoke about promotion. Can you just please tell us a little, uh, a little bit more about it? Yes, he said the promotion is there is a promotion that is coming, and uh, um, I believe uh, what he said will come to pass. And how long have you been trusting in God for a promotion? Uh, since he, he he first prophesied uh, uh, when I went to to the um, uh, people who pledged there, yes, he prophesied about uh, the jobs that uh, I will get. He mentioned the series of mm. events that will, will unfold. Mm. Yes, so it, this is just a confirmation of what he have uh, said. And uh, uh, maybe now that, uh, okay, not maybe, mm. definitely now that he said it's coming, it's going to come quickly. Amen. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life regarding a promotion? I feel, I feel great and uh, I'm looking forward for it to happen very quickly yes and i'm believing god for for this promotion i've been believing god for promotion uh and uh, now that i got this prophecy it's just uh going to uplift my my faith and uh, to hold on uh, until i get there amen, amen. where's your partner you you this one where's your partner he's in cape town huh He's in Cape Town. Please pray for him. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of I God. I see a separation. Pray for him. Amen. Because your situation between him and you, already the family is inside now. This man, he must not receive support from his people. Yes, man of God. Because of you failing to, to 
be pregnant. So, you see what is happening to you. Because already there's an attack. I don't see a relationship anymore. I don't see it. So, this spirit must leave you. Leave her now. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Are you living? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's, there's a lady here. Sister. Come here, you. Yes. You must pray for your partner also. Uh, he left yesterday. I'm telling you, that's why I'm speaking with you. Mm, he left yesterday. He has to leave. You know, remember, everyone from this family is a Sangoma. Yes. You know, and they don't want this man to marry. He's yes. coming from deep inside a family of family of witchcraft. It's true. Huh? Very true. On top of that, there's this one who's teaching everyone to be a Sangoma at home. Yeah, his elder brother is a Sangoma also. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we need to release you from this problem. You, you do, you want, do you want him to come back? He already released me because I dreamed about you and they Give glory to Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. You know, it, I always say, whatever we do, it has been done. Yes. Huh? Yes. So, someone have a dream before we can even speak with them. It's to show you that whatever we do is done. Because to me, I was seeing this man leaving, and I was say, I. You chased you him, know. you and Daddy. You were on the In front. a dream. Yes. Clap hands for Jesus. You told him that he must go. <laughs> Now, now God must give you another one. <laughs> I'm ready. Clap us for Jesus. I, you know, I always say this thing that I was telling people that side on Sunday. I said, with the kind of grace that we have, if we come here, we speak everything that God show, is showing us, many people will never come back to church again. You know, so now, I was saying, if you hear from God, you need also wisdom to speak what you are hearing. Because also prophecy must not destroy people. It must build someone. There will be a one of destroying if God say, I must say this to destroy this. Hallelujah. But since Jesus came, uh, there's a lot of grace, isn't it? But the old prophets, they didn't play. Those ones, they just hit and destroy. So, I'm glad this man has left you. In the name of Jesus. Life, Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Salfina Mutele. I'm coming from Kempton Park. Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. I confirmed the prophecy to be true uh, a week before last. I dreamed about uh, Andre, uh, Prophet Andres and the uh, on the front of my door, on the bedroom, chasing my partner away, not knowing that Last week, Friday, he was drunk. He took take, he take my firearm, service firearm. He, cock, he, he wanted to shoot me. Yes. So on Monday, I went to do a protection order. Yesterday, I, I, they, we went to save him with pressure shot the way he was working. So everything that he, 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 he prophesied about it is, is true. Uh, even the witchcraft, everything is, is true. 
uh, because he, he even mentioned about the, the crime. It's crime that he did because he took my firearm. He wanted to shoot me with it. I just I I, I was afraid to give the the, the, the testimony. Yeah, I, I, even on Sunday, I was supposed to give the testimony because I dreamt about this and that came to pass. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how did that event affect you? Yo, just I, I don't I don't know because I dreamt about it. The grace of God, it was with me. I don't know because. I just take it politely. When the time he called, because it was he was drunk, I just tried to call to call, calm him up, down. Come, come here! Don't do that. Why, ma? Sure. Yeah, and it was the, for the first time he doing this. Yeah, so I just decided to go and do protection order because I I thought you're gonna do it again. I, I cannot stay with the person doing this. Uh, I, I'm not safe with the children and the other person people. I'm staying with them. Yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life regarding this issue? I, I was very happy because I was afraid to go and give the testimony. So because he located me, which means the problem, he saw the problem. Mm. Because he was the one who was fighting too much on my dream. He was chasing him. I, I saw him packing everything in the, inside the bag, going. Within a week he was packing. Mm. Yeah. So I thank you because the prophecy came to pass. Yes, I even prayed that like a day before after I saw the dream that God, if is not the one, let him go. Yes. My brother, you want to move from Soweto? We long moves from no? Soweto. We long moves from Soweto. You have moved? Yeah, we are in Captain Park. You are in Captain Park. So you must not move from there. Amen. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, because I was seeing so well too, but I see you moving. Yeah. And I was questioning, where are you going? Yes. And I also heard that, pray for him that where he's going, you must not move there. Amen. Amen. Because if you move, you'll move all the time. Amen. Move all the time. Mm. I was teaching some pastors that I said, pastoring needs persistence. Why most young pastors, they fail? They can't persist. Hmm? If you hear God, you persist. You hear me? I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. If God say, I've called you here in Midrand, stay there. Whether people are coming or not, agree you had God. Huh? I pray for you, my brother. You'll make it. On his life. So, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. All right, my name is Apostle Gabriel. I come from Kempton Park. Um, uh, during the service, I was located by Prophet Andres. Um, he comes to say to me that I see Soweto. Uh, what is happening to Soweto? I see you moving from Soweto. And then I did confirm to say that in Soweto, that's where we used to live before. And as we lived there, that's where we had our ministry. Our ministry started there in Soweto. So when it started there in Soweto, we had to move because of occupation of, of, uh, of my wife. It was a bit further from work. So we had to move to, to get closer to her work to accommodate her. So now we go to Kempton Park, um, of which I confirm is true, well, what the prophet said, that I see you moving, If now you need to stay where you are. Uh, Kempton Park is where now we are actually operating our ministry in. Uh, things are going very well, of which what God is saying to the prophet is actually true. Yeah. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you, ministered upon your life, and even guided you? Oh, well, it's, 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 it's always good to have confirmation from time to time concerning the work of God. Uh, remember, the work of God is, is not a single entity. It, it, is a chain, it, it is a chain entity whereby we are linked as servants of God. So as my brother prophesied to me, he was giving me light towards my destiny. That's how uh, the, 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 the things of God work. So I'm really exhilarated. I'm very, 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 very excited concerning what the prophet said. Uh, it also goes to confirm what also did he say to me uh, on a one-on-one -on -one concerning um, um, my ministry. And he wasn't there. So it, it really is it really is God who is moving in this place. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I saw a lady here. When I was speaking with Uncle, I saw a, a white Fort Ranger. Huh? Satan is not happy. You hear me? 
after you bought a car of this car that many people are sitting inside, Satan is not happy. I saw the devil killing someone in this white Ford Ranger. So, but we need to cancel this problem. Amen. You hear me? We need to cancel it. Already there are dreams that you are seeing that are not nice. Mm. Huh? Amen. So we need to cancel this thing before it can happen. So come here. You pass here. Let's cancel this death. Pass. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Your spirit of death. Live it. Live it. Leave, you demon. <laughs> I saw a white double cap. Oh, you demon. You're a spirit of death. Leave here now. Leave. Because Satan is not a good Satan. Sometimes he allows you to relax, isn't it? He say, no, everything is going smooth. He's cooking something. Out, you demon! Why? Why? Come out! What are you doing here? Why do you want to kill this lady? Huh? Why do you want to kill them? What, what is your problem? She's bothering us. I can't hear you. She's bothering us. She's better than, can you hear that? She's bothering us. She's bothering you? Yeah. So, why not own a jala, isn't She must go back home. She must go back home. Mm -hmm. mm. Why, why do you want to take her back home? What is your problem? She must go back home she where she comes from. Where she comes from? Yeah. So. We don't want her. Huh? We don't want her. You say what? We don't want her. You don't want her? We don't want her. So, who are you? <laughs> huh? We don't want her. Who are you? We don't want her. Who are you, you demon? <laughs> if, if, if this demon can tell you, 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 those, you people that are married, you'll pray nonstop. <laughs> you pray a lot. I can't hear you. Huh? You say what? <laughs> So leave her now. On her life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mancha. I'm from Kempton Park. Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Prophet Andres spoke about the spirit of death, which I confirm to be true. The past two weeks I've been having dreams, like I will see dead people in my dreams. It came to my mind that seeing dead people, it means the spirit of death. Then I started praying about it until today they located me and then they casted the demon away. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrews located you and minister upon your life? I feel relieved uh, and I'm blessed. Amen. Kaona, Kaona. Kiwe mutle kilo keki, kiwe mutle ki. Touch you. You demon! <laughs> Leave it! Leave it! <laughs> Can we 
get a small volume. My voice is running away. Make noise when we are alone. Pray. The man you are speaking with uh, from London, uh, pray about this thing because I see another connection that is coming. Yes. You hear me? They called me this yes. morning. Yes. They called you this morning. Yes. That happens for Jesus. Don't undermine this. You hear me? Yes. Because sometimes your heart makes you to doubt things. Yes. And uh, don't doubt this one. Yes. You know, so I believe God will bless you. Yes. You hear me? Even the Zimbabwe one is yes. yes, God will bless you. Yes. Uh, this man from London, God will bless you. <laughs> Let me touch you. Thank you, Lord, for this breakthrough. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Paul from Tempe, sir. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He spoke about uh, some other words from uh, UK for doing mining business together. So what he said is true because I was speaking with them in the morning today. So it shall come to pass. Men of God, it was spot on about what he's saying to me. I thank God for him. Yes. Is this your first born? No. This is the last. That, that, that. They, they all passed on. This is the last one. Yes. I said, where's your first born? Oh, passed on. You know? So now we need to pray for you. Mm. Why all your children are dying? Yeah. Thank you. Amen. This is not your first born. Yeah, this I is the came only to one. you. I said, where's your first born son? Because okay. I see your sons, yeah, your children passed, dying, passed, all of them. All. So now this one must not die. I think three. Three. I know who's doing this. We must reverse this thing to the person who's doing this thing. Amen. Amen. You know, we got one reason why I ask you because I know now I know they're coming to this one now. Amen. So this one will protect this one with the blood of Jesus. Amen. How can you have a child die? Another one die. Another one die. Three children. All of them, boom, gone. There has to be something wrong somewhere. Huh? Now they want to come to this one. Nothing will happen to you, my boy. You hear me? Huh? Also, also put Jesus first. If all of them die and you are alive, there has to be the grace on you. Amen. So we'll pray for your father. God will also heal him. It's going to be okay. God will heal you. Sir. Don't worry. Amen. Pray Jesus. And I want God to restore you. Amen. You know, because you have lost everything you have worked for. Amen. So God will restore you. Don't worry. Mm. Jesus' name. Your three seconds. Amen. Life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Stephen Mokwena from Lithabile, Northwest. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, what he said to me is he asked me where is my firstborn and then I was not sure what to say because the, 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 my firstborn has passed on and then and then, uh, as far as boys are concerned, God blessed me with four boys. Three passed on, and then I left with only one. That which was, hence I said to him, I said, no, this is the boy that I'm having. He said, no. I was saying the firstborn. So, he's not the firstborn. I think it's my fifth, my fifth child, this one. Mm. 
So what happened to the and other ones? No, the, f the first one passed on. Uh, my first boy, my firstborn son passed on. Then I had a daughter, and then after this daughter, I had another boy. He passed on, and then I had a daughter, and then I had this one, and then I had another son who also passed on. They just passed on, you know. Uh, accidentally, you know. Nothing serious. Yeah, I'll stay with the child for some time. During the day, he will start coughing. One, two, three, he's gone. Mm. And how did that affect you as a parent losing your kids? It really, it really, it really affected me because it was not easy to lose so many sons, actually, as a father. Mm. And what did Prophet Andres further say to you regarding this? No, what he said, he said he, he's aware where the problem comes from. So he will stop it and then, and also my health, and then he spoke about my health, then, and, then, and also losing all things. And then, truly speaking, I think it's a point there in a the sense that I was, I, was, I was well off. But as of now, I've lost everything. I've got nothing. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? No, I feel good. Thank you. I'm great. That God bless the ministry and the man of God. Amen. Amen. And what words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's going to come across this? Uh, you know, I will advise, I will advise people uh, to come to Cherish Missionary Church because I, I saw for the first time I I I, I see I at, I attend this church uh, maybe thrice. There are things that I've learned, and then, and then, uh, some of the prophet, their prophecies, they are on point. Because I remember some time back, I came for the first time, for the second time. Prophet Makanandesa came to me and he said to me, "He just pinpointed me in the midst of the people. He said, you 'You're not praying. You must pray.' And then, and then I used to to sit with." With pastors, I said no. I'm no more going to sit with pastors. I decided to sit among the people there. Mm. Uh, one day when I came in, I, I sat there among the people. He came straight to me and said to me, "Pray, pray, pray, pray. You'll pray." I said, "No, prof. How many times you tell me? You told me, you tell me, and tell me, so so I can say whatever they see their own point." And then God is using them in a very, very special way. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, you demon. God deals with people. These documents you signed, they must not delay. Amen. You hear me? These documents must not delay. Amen. This deal must happen now. Amen. Now, now, now. She's free. There's a, there's a spirit that is eating your blood. You hear me? Amen. There's serious sickness in your blood. So now, believe God for healing. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So that sickness has left you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Oh, my name is Samuel Chauk. I stay in Hospital View, but I was born and grew up in Limpopo, the place called Mohupo, Nabom Spread. But today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, he spoke about uh, there, is, uh, um, there is something that is bothering me in my blood, like a, a blood disease. Yes, that's true. It has been bothering me for about three decades now. So every time I felt weak and, you know, I didn't know what's happening in my body. So at least today they confirm it with the power of the Holy Spirit. So, and they confirm the healing to me. So. And how do you feel that Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life? Now I feel better. I feel great. I feel that the, the healing is, is now, now, now. Uh, it's an instant healing now because since he spoke to me now, I can feel that I, I have energy because I was weak when I came here. So now I feel, even previously, the pastor, Apostle, prayed for me for coughing, and he says, I will never cough again. Then 
I think Jesus. that is sealed as well. Amen. Amen. Lift her. Look here, Mama. D don't move this saloon somewhere. Amen. You hear me? Amen. D don't move this saloon somewhere. Amen. Uh, because I see God is going to bring clients to you. Amen. More clients Amen. are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Let me touch her. More, come here. More clients are coming. Thank you, Jesus. She's free. In her life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Um, hello, people of the Lord. Um, my name is Lise Hom Fukeng. I'm coming from Sunny Hill. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, Prophet Andrews uh, prophesied to me today um, about my business. I'm having a saloon and I've been, things are dragging. I'm not getting busy. It's been on and off and I don't understand why. But the Lord has been so good and always remembering me. Um, all the time, I'm, he's reminding me, the Lord is reminding me that he's going to do it for me. Yeah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus, my dream. Come on. 